Hello, this is June Universe at Ninja Intuitive. Three minutes. Intuitive blind reading cookies. Welcome to our show and thank you for allowing me to be in your experience. Participate in co-creative energy of oneness. I truly appreciate your connection here at this energy and intuitive community. This is June Universe. I have a very exciting news to share with you all today that our show is now available for iHeartRadio listeners. Yay! So welcome, iHeartRadio listeners. This is Ninja Intuitive. We've been、uh, connecting each week at the same time. Actually, five, ten minutes delay today. <laughs> Excuse me.、Um, to get together and connect our energy to co create the energy of oneness. For each of us to Get benefit from being part of the field of oneness for our own intentional creation and healing to our everyday life's challenges and insight and healings. What is unique about this podcast is that.、Um, I myself have been part of this intuitive energy community since 2004. And what I notice is that、um, we no need to know each other as a person or occupations or, well, name would be good, but you know,、uh, where you live, what you do, and what your, all these social. Dialogue that normally we are encouraged to exchange and have. And、uh, the traditional way that I was being part of the social community, but this intuitive energy community that、uh, it's quite a unique way to get to know each other,、uh, not ex- introducing ourselves as an occupation or Um, the normal social dialogue we have, but instead of、uh, sharing, exchanging this information, more of reading each other and to support one another for. Sharing what we notice for good for other people. So instead of like、uh, greeting, how are you? And you respond as an、uh, explaining what's happening in your experience. It, it's, a, it's a reverse, like opposite, like how am I? And then the other person is going <laughs> to answer that.、Uh, Question. So it's kind of a strange way, but、um, and being in that community without knowing the traditional way of that person, but being part of the oneness and then interacting with that、uh, intuitive, intuitively and then getting to know each other is like more knowing in a very intimate way because. We have some information filters, like even the names and、uh, locations or、uh, occupation. We have a、um, um, perception associated to this information based on our own experience. So that information actually judging that person somehow and then seeing or limit that dialogue or segment to get to know. More、um, specific area, you know, that's one, one of the benefits that to、um, 
introducing each other as in a business community, for example, like specifically who is who and what what you do, and then that's the purpose of it to get to know. But how how important that kind of information would be to gather together as a person, as a human, to make ourselves available for ourselves and then for others in a supportive way to to be part of each other's um, support for creating a quality life, whatever that definition of the quality life would be for the, each person. But it's dependent on each person. So that, that's kind of the wonderful things. And without knowing the details, but the uh, energetically we can sense and feel and then interact and able to choose the word to share and and encourage or um, remind each other to redirect attention so that being redirected attention goes into the different direction that where energy is uh, redirected the energy moves where attention is given. So, um, and then it comes to um, how we want to give a focus for ourselves, for most ideal direction, which align to our heart of the matter, because we want to be happy. You know, we seek love, happy, peace as in a basic fundamental human needs. So this is a basic fundamental human community, the, the, the community that like to serve the needs of the humanness. Um, and so um, this is an anonymous community to um, request some healing or insight. And I am providing the intuitive insight anonymously requested um, questions, agendas, and topics that you are curious about what's going on in your life to want to make any better choices or make it enhanced, or just to get some uh, another view on what you are concerning about from now on or about the past. Uh, my profession is towards the future, but some intuitives are really good at past life connections and what would be nice to be reconnect and rewire in your memories or experience or, or attention into a current for a healing, you know. So um, it would be nice to invite many other intuitives based on their profession. Some are really good at uh, physical, medical reading type of more focusing on physical related. Um, my specialty is the future predictions and um, towards future oriented uh, choices for the next possibility and probability so that you can choose based on what most resonate to your heart of the matter. So that's the community, and I am really excited to welcome in iHeart Radio listeners. Thank you, and welcome to a community. You can learn about a community going to www.thatfuturefocaster.com, www.thatfuturefocaster.com, and then also there's a form to for you to be able to submit the the intuitive insight request without tearing your name, no sharing your topics, but just assigning the symbol and then the category that the symbol or topics belong to your experience, such as love and relationships and career, health, wealth, money, and, you know, um, nine different uh, categories that the um, I am most frequently being asked by my client. So it's easier for you to just to select and assign the symbol for what you would like to have an insight for and then submit the form. And then I'd like to share the three minutes here each week to deliver the insight. So the uh, insight will be only you can get the um, idea what I am talking about for the possibilities for the your request and then you can just scan the information and take it only what you resonate to 
So you have a power to create your experience, and I would like to be a resource for providing the possibilities and opportunities. And what I see intuitively around you, your questions and your curiosity about your conscious life creation, and then at the same time, all listeners, all of us, will be sending a good thought to your creation as an energy community. As if if you already experience in the perfect scenario in your creation, so that listener sending the good thought and energy is coming back to each of us for our own creation of the better next step. That's how we d- we are doing, and、uh, we like to do today also. And first of all,、um, it is good for us to. Oh, already. It is good for us to be in current here now, so that、um, more grounded, and then give a focus to here now for our own creation. So. I would like you to take a moment to noticing where you are at this present moment. Your mental, like a feeling, what you are thinking, your emotions, and your physical body, and then the whole mood that you are with right now, currently, and then choose the one word, feeling, that most resonate to current you situation. So this is the weekly check-in being current.、Um, I am feeding actually.、Um, I'm having a mixed feeding. It's a.、Uh, I actually feeding、um, challenged. <laughs> Challenged, challenged feeling. I'm too much thinking. Perhaps <laughs> it's it's happening. Is、uh, I wanted to welcome this、uh, new iHeart Radio listeners today. So if there's something new, I would like to share this information. And my attention is so occupied to this particular things, and and everything else has got ah overwhelming. Well. That's a very my honest, true voice. So I'm, I'm kind of challenged to be in here now. So I like to get grounded. That's the feeling, open and grounded, and feeling connected at this、um, end of today's gathering. That's the feeling I like to have at the end of this today. So how about you? Where are you right now? Feeling、um, happy, or feeling open, or feeling anxiety, or feeling overwhelmed—you know, many different kind of feelings. Just to be honest with you, to notice where you are, and no need to impress anyone. Just to allow the true feeling to come up under your awareness right now here together, because we hold in the space for one another. All right, and then I highly recommend you to write it down your emotion with the today's date, and it can be a emotional journal like a note. Even that one feeding with the date, it comes to a four weeks, and then the four different information that will give you some information after a one month. So these things piles, just.、Um, Everything else, like a small things, it becomes like a, a gradually growing, regardless of our intention. So, just to get the pen and paper and write it down the feeling that you are now with. All right, and then also the feeling you like to choose. What kind of feeling you like to have when you are.、Uh, Sharing this moment with us today, at the end of today. How about、um, excited, or you want to get calm, or you want to get、uh, passionate, or you want to get 
what? So I would like you to choose the word and feel the feeling of that feeling there in this podcast sharing together moments for another 30 minutes. All right. So let us take a long, deep breath, conscious breathing to take in all the air around us as an energy from the nose into our physical body and then hold it and then release with no longer serving energy. All right. So let's do that. Uh, counting three from one now, taking the air from the nose. Two, three, hold it. Release from the mouth. All right. Good, good. So Today I'd like to share some uh, what came to my observations and awareness as a um, what um, energy digestive system. <laughs> what is that? Um, when we eat something like a food for our body, and our body digests a food. And, you know, the met- metabolism is sometimes it's high and sometimes becomes low. It's depending on the health condition of a, a physical body system, right? And energy, I mean, everything is made of energy. So um, food is also energy. And then intake in physically for nurturing a physical body. Uh and how, how about the other realm as an emotion is also energy and awareness is also, also energy. The definition of energy is everything is energy, made of energy. And energy moves with attention given. So it's like a, the, the focus we are given is the more getting our energy. And then if we allow and we are responding to that energy physically or maybe if we are not allowing subconsciously we are responding to that focus so unconscious is unconscious more unconsciously drawing to something and then the energy is consuming unconsciously over there so our challenge is would be to give that focus using our consciousness which is about five percent of our system to make it more aligned to feels good happy peace balanced you know healthy exciting joyful being you know that's what to experience the life itself and sometimes the life challenge that's part of human human journey so um the what we are encouraged to play with is to notice what's around us, what's around you, what's around me, to make this here now in most aligned to a good feeling. Good feeling makes us feel aligned to a body, mind, spirit, soul, perhaps. It's like as a one whole package as in a human being, you know. So there is a person, personality, your preference, and each one of us has a unique preference. And then grown up in a unique environment. So each of us are unique. However, that everything is made of energy and this physical body as human being is the mutual factor. So... And these, the energy, I'm talking about uh, non-physical energy, invisible energy, um, comes to awareness like a feeding and um, some memories. Um, these informations and imagination is, of, everything is information. So it's like imagination and uh, memories and um invisible information energy and we as a 
human being also digests these energies as a food metabolizes in our body. So sometimes when you join in the self help group or work or、um, empowerment program, whatever that to something spiritual or energetic or awareness or subconscious conscious sort of enhancement or work intentionally or without aware of it, being part of. And this new information as an energy c o m e to us as conscious or subconscious and then digest all these energies as our human experience. And sometimes it's becoming as a poop and come out unexpected timing. So, in, the, in other words, it's like an aha moment sometimes. In the other words, like one piece of information just became as a puzzle, one last piece of the puzzle, and then a whole new picture started to see. You know, that, and, and then sometimes even there's a picture is there, but to noticing that's the picture and then seeing the whole picture, it Gives us some sort of a space to realize what it was. It was like, aha.、Uh-huh. So it seems to me it's, there is no linear time schedule to how long it's going to take. It's up to the digestive system and then up to the, the system upgrade, which is invisible. But what will make us visible is the journaling. So, jot it down that what you noticed and what you felt, and then all these pieces of information will give us an、um, visible information for our energy digestive system that、uh, currently you're having. Just like the physical body, when you eat and then poop, right? And then Intaking and then pushing it out. So we can observe this system. And then when you go to see the doctor, that's the, the first thing the doctor asks what you're eating and then releasing. Both are important because it's the digestive system. The energy is invisible, energy is the same thing to me, and then it's been working. So when you participate in particular intense workshop, Or the classes, we may want to be gentle to ourselves, like feelings and emotions and you know, mood and stuff. Sometimes it's like because we commit to work on some classes or reaching the goal, it's too hard to reach the goal. If we are not reaching the way that we wanted to, like a perfectionism in a good way kicks in and punishing ourselves,、um, disappointing if we are not reaching to the goal. but Hey, give it a little space to be nice to yourself because these things come in、uh, raindrops, it's like a, two weeks later or a、um, month later. So it depends on the system. And you never know until you get familiar with that system. In order to do so, you want to have that, some tools that help you to know about your own energy digestive system. This is June Universe talking about the energy poop, <laughs> invisible energy poop. So make it healthy and do not so hard on ourselves. Let, let, let us be gentle to ourselves and support one another, another to heal the. Energy to help each other to remind that fact of everything is coming to making sense to our creation. So, I'd like to give our intuitive reading for today. So, then three minutes to give the、um, blind reading. Today, I would like to give a、uh, connection, relationship reading. 
So here's the three minutes.、Uh, the first symbol that I pick here is the coffee. So when you're listening this in, intuitive reading delivery, I would like you to embody your feeling that you'd like to have at the end of today. Gathering and then also send a good thought to the reading requester as if they are already experienced in the perfect way in their world, all right. And then the energy return system will come in back to you as a good feeling, so that circle w o r k in that way. And then that will also help me to read the、um, energy around this question in more easier and more effective way. So that's. The power of the group energy and field of oneness. And I really appreciate your participation. All right, the first one is the coffee. Here's the three minutes coffee. Let me sip the water. I'm having the sense that this、um, connection is like a physical connection, and、uh, physical chemistry is really much in whatever that、um, relationship dynamic is a romantic or teammate, but physical activity. Doing together is really matching. It's like、uh, almost like、um, one of the ideal p a r t n e r s h i p to do together things physically.、Um, I'm having a sense that the、uh, heart of the matter is also mutual.、Uh, it doesn't need to be the romantic tension underneath of it as a teammate or group focus is also good because the caring heart. The focus is very similar, and nature is aligned between both of you. And I'm getting the sense like a little bit of、uh, romantic tension underneath of it, too. And that, that's up to you to navigate which way to be most、uh, comfortable at the stages of relationship. I'm getting the sense that there's a room for、uh, enhancement to sharing the、um, inspirations and imagination from now on. Um, and uh, to, to communicate without concern e d about hurting each other much because there is an,、uh, the mutual heart resonance, and that's the mutual grounding place to co create, and then, and then this relatedness and relationship.、Um, so I am excited, I, I'm getting the feeling excited about. To what you can do with this connectedness、um, is a、uh, very natural part of the creation. And、uh, I think the foundation is already there. And if we want to make it as in a business tool, tool or format, that can be possible too.、Um, I'm getting the sense that it's like blue sky and Um, perhaps can be expected a、uh, little misunderstanding or dialogue that would make you feel that, well, this could be the end of it. But actually, that's the opportunity to get to know each other more in a settled way.、Um, it would be nice to have some grounding point that to define in the relationship destination from now on. That would make you feel. You more comfortable to participate in dedication of this creation as in a couple in this two of you connectedness and relationship that you may want to define from now on. I'm sending a lots of great energy and love to your connectedness. Good luck. This is the coffee and、uh, connectedness and relationship. The next one is Feather. Okay, I get the sense that this feather is kind of like a special feather, that、uh, golden special. Value that I am seeing it from this combination of t h e s e two of you,、uh, able to provide, and it's like a golden couple in the sense of、uh, money making possibility 
that、um, everything you together touch in a mutual agreement will bring some abundance around you and then also for others too.、Um, I'm getting a sense that this is very grounded and a mature idea. So it's important to be authentically talk about it. No nonsense anymore from here on.、Um, because just being natural and then being self to connect into the business channel and then And that's going to be automatically successful, successful、um, shift. And there is already、um, huge potential of um, um, possibility. And already having achieved that、um, goal s that you are thinking about it, but just the two of you. Understanding and commit to work on it, which is to make it available for other people as an idea, and that is what we need from now on.、Um, I'm getting the sense that make it as enough four or three phases to commit to make it available and then share it and then maintain it what you already created. This simple three stages will bring the a quick success within like a two years from now on before、uh, 2018.、Um, I'm getting the sense that there's something about the school or young, young girls'、um, involvement, for instance, or supporting these、uh, teenage girls to、uh, sub- supplemental value. Besides their、um, intellectual, like intellectual study, it's more of as a human heart. Besides their intellectuality, to make it as a more whole person that is capable to create the new society type of、um, relationship would be nice. in In the plan in the phase two, it doesn't need to be the phase one. I'm getting a great energy and sending a, lots of love and heat into your co creation. This is the feather connection and relationship. Thank you. Okay, next is the music. Music. I'm getting the sense that something about the number seven is the July is the key month for this all around possibility to make it grasping in both of your heart and in a really connected to a soul. And deep level that's already there, but it's more of like really committing and really passionate to take action kind of、uh, level.、Um, I'm getting the sense that this two of you is really connected, and then also having a little bit of、uh, romantic tension. Also, I'm seeing it, it can be possible.、Um, It can be grounded to your connectedness into that romantic tension. It's also a possibility、um, if you want to. I'm getting a sense like a male side is wanting to do so, and I'm not sure about the female side commitment because it feels like a more mutual, co creative value is dominant. From the、uh, female side. Male side can be okay with that too, but it's a little bit of showing the、um, like、a romantic, intimate side to it too, which is lovely, I think.、Um, I'm getting the sense like this is also good with the business align if you want to. And this is like a very authentic, natural, natural part of both of you to be in connected in a very organized way that is easy for everyone to understand. So, not much spending the time to how you're going to present to make that 
make make sense to other people because I'm having a sense that female side is concerned about how we're going to present this to connect with other people but allow the male male person to drive that guy that way because it seems to be he's very confident about how to present it and then that's the way to really like down the earth like immediate, no barrier or no hurdle to just let it happen and connect and ta-da kind of uh, flow. It's very flowing. I'm getting the August. It would be August, September. It would be a really good to make it uh, grounded to enjoy the rest of the year for 2016 to uh, enjoy what you already implemented for the summertime. Good luck. I'm sending lots of good energy. This is the music, connection, and relationship. How's our time? i got five minutes. Okay, let's do that next. Next is the sound. Okay, the sound. I'm getting a sense that the sound is under the uh, construction right now. Um, when this construction can be cleaned out, I'm getting a sense around the end of uh, August that uh, almost becoming the end of the summer season. Um, this feels right to your groundedness that in the sense of if there is a male-female connection and then the male figure person is needed the time off to take care of around him and then his personal around and then you needed to be encouraged to let him having a space for reconnecting in a way that most suitable for you to be comfortable in this connectedness as being who you are as you really ground it at your presence and what you are who you are um before it was like a, a, your feet are sort of like more aligned to his taste and his direction but now more individually fully knowing what you are what he is so and then respect each other's value and finally to get to know from here to connect to the solar plexus and heart and the mental and emotional i'm getting the sense that the connection of the uh, crown chakra and uh heart chakra solar plexus and and the second chakra is really connected and to make it the ground chakra and then the communication third chakra uh would be a nice chakras to pay attention for at the end of august to make it as a whole connection as an uh the partnership um i'm getting the sense that uh watching each other during this uh, period until end of October. And then after that period, you feel like reconnecting to the new person, but the uh, person who you already knew it and then real fit in authentic way and no hesitation. It's a very natural. It could be a, like a lifetime partnership because you respect individuals' uh, preference and personality and characteristics. And also there's a room I'm seeing for uh, both of you growing as a better person and then each can be a good influence and that couple it can become a uh, role model for a new generation to look up for as a new way to be in a couple so this is the sound and um, i'm sending a lot of good energy and love to your creation thank you Next is the rose. How is our time? Okay. All right. So next is the last one is 
Rose, the flower rose. I got the lots of love energy, like love, love, love. Uh, let me see this. What kind of love is this? This is the love of、um, human kind of love. It's、uh, brother sister love. It's、um, caring love, and、uh, also man and woman kind of love. Either way, that you can、uh, use this love that I'm sensing for、um, what you are intending to create here now. At this stage,、um, I'm sensing the rose is、um, pink, and it can be really a red, red, passionate rose. Make it as an a、uh, hundred roses <laughs>、uh, if you want to. There's a potential, but I'm getting the sense like there's an hesitation for you to do that to expand it into that direction.、Um, But it can be nice to use that connection for a creative expression,、um, to explore that creative、um, possibility, to to make it as an、uh, um, fun light to enjoy quality life, like everyday life that. Ordinary life can be more something special, like a quality that、um, you can adapt into current life easily. Today, I mean, it was yesterday. You know, it's already here. So it's up to you to use that as an fragrance and aroma, and you can smell it and feel it and comfort each other's connectedness as an.、Uh, Essence of、uh, essence that would help you feel more abundant, more connected, more loved, more joyful, more、um, sexy kind of、um, person, and invite in that kind of energy into everyday activity.、Um, I'm getting a sense like a many colorful way to express your feeling and to share the connectedness in a many different way of life creation. But the key is the creativity. So something, anything creative, and not so much in the businessy, businessy, but more focusing on art and creativity would be、uh, really good to use your third eye and intellect and imagination and. Even the physical location is、uh, distance, but your heart and the value is connected in the creativity. So、um, utilize that connection in the most enjoyable way that to make your life more excited and something more quality for everyday experience. This is Rose. And the connection and the relationship. Thank you for your request. This is June Universe. You can also request your own intuitive reading going to www.thatfutureforecaster.com. www.thatfutureforecaster.com. And obviously, submit your form about the topic that you're curious about, your life experience, and you want to. Kind of having、uh, insight for future from another view. So, how is your feeding embodiment exercise? What was the feeding that you chose? I think、uh, mine was a connected. I'm feeling connected. I feel connected. Yes, thank you. I'm really feeling connected to all these four of you requested this insight. That was a really good energy. It's very precious. All of them、uh, so makes my heart swing. Good energy, like sweet connections, and.、Um, I hope that each of you can get our good energy and to take the insight which only resonate to your experience. And、uh, I see you next week at Ninja Intuitive. Until then, bye. <laughs>